Hi, my name is Keith and I'm known as a Florida stone man and today I'm going to be talking to you about three angel numbers. Yes, this whole video is about three different angel numbers and how you guys can read them differently. This is not a video I've done like this because I'm just focusing on three verses, uh, truly telling you guys how to read them yourselves. Although this video is going to be prepared to help you guys learn how to read angel numbers yourselves because it's really important because you guys have to know how to interpret signs. <clears throat> now, there is different degrees as to how people can read angel numbers. I've seen extreme degrees as to people will see an angel number and just not leave their house and not operate, not eat, not sleep, etc. because they saw the angel number and their angels are like, oops, this person overreacted to the angel number because there's people who will, and some of you have seen it, people are like, they all see 555 five, five, and they start crying and yelling and screaming, it's the end of the world. Ah, I'm like, well, not yet, but uh, when it comes to angel numbers, you guys really, really, really uh, take them for a grain of salt and just keep doing whatever you're doing. I do have a motto as to you make your angel numbers by your progress and with your actions versus some people will literally, and I was guilty of this a very long time ago when I was a lot younger. I'm like, ah, angel number. Oh, like what's going on? I'm like, I wonder what the, I wonder what the change is. Cause five, five, five has to do with change. I'll get into that in this video, but what kind of change? Like, Hmm, uh, that's an interesting number. Very interesting number. It's a karmic too. So let me start with three, three, three. So I'm not going to do one, one, one or two, two, two. I'll do that in like a different video, but it depends on how you guys like this video. But when you guys see three, 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 it means something's growing. It means something's in fruition. It means a manifestation that you have assimilated and let go into your environment through the vibration of your word and your thoughts and your actions and your beliefs are now taken effect and taken hold. And some people are like, oh, that's me, that's me. I'm saying number 333. Three, three. And I'm like, yeah. So depends on where you've seen the 333s. Three, three, if you're just seeing threes, Okay, cool, yeah. If you're just seeing 33s, okay, cool, yeah. If you're seeing 333, this means you just saw an angel number. But, and here's a little special part with angel numbers that's not very well known. If you're seeing an angel number and it's being repeated, like you go on Instagram and you're you're scrolling through your feed and you see 333, come out 333, come out 333, likes. You're like, ah, what's happening? It means whatever you did during the day or your thoughts, your actions, your behaviors, your beliefs, Something about you is changing in a positive direction and it's really making your angels happy and making them smile. Like I said, 333 has to do with growth, but, and here's where you guys are gonna become readers in your own sense for your own angel numbers. Let's, and oh, here's what you can do as well. If you are someone who sees angel numbers and you have no idea what they mean, the rule of thumb is whatever you were just talking about, whatever you just said, whatever you just thought about, whatever you just, it could be like from five minutes ago, it could be a, a second ago. Whatever you said, whatever you thought, etc. whatever you just did, maybe you just got home from a, uh, you just uh, went to summer camp and you just ate a sandwich and that sandwich was good because it's low calorie and you're really working on your diet. You just saw three, three, yeah, like my wonderful example. You just saw three, three, three. What does this mean? It means good job. Like you're on your diet, you're on track, a sandwich. Um, uh, you're on track, you're on your diet. I don't know if, if, if that's goals, that's goals. If that's progress, that's progress. I, that's just my example. But uh, another example is, <clears throat> let's just say you're learning a new craft. Like if you're working on, uh, for example, you're, you're doing quilts and you're making these baskets or like you're quilting a basket maybe, I, I don't know. Let's just say you're you're making candles and your, your candles are going wonderful, but you didn't know how to do it before and you're doing it now and you're making your candles and like you're not really sure what you're doing, but you're getting better at it. You see 333 three, three on TV and guess what? That means you're flourishing, you're growing. Like, oh, thank you, Lord. Ah, thank you, Lord. Ah, I'm so happy. Yeah, so yeah, people can get happy at angel numbers because guess what? It's progress and it's a sign that you're developing and that you're moving on and that you're just growing, you're flourishing. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this as an example. Let's just say in three, it's the number of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Trinity. It's literally a very sacred number. It's 
an odd number, and it's probably, it is, well, 3 and 7 are the most magical numbers ever, but it's the number of magic, it's the number of manifestation, it's the number of, and I'm going to tell you why you should be careful of certain angel numbers too, because, like I said, people think manifestation just goes in the direction they want it to. Well, if that was the direction, then you wouldn't have some of your problems that you have now, or most of them, actually. Because some people will be like, oh, I'm sick and tired of this stuff. And guess what? You're ending up sick and tired because of the way you spoke. So let's just say you're saying, I'm sick and tired, and you just saw 333 after you just said that. It could be a little warning as to, hey, watch what you say, because it's what you say is a vibration that echoes into your environment and changes your surrounding atmosphere to whatever you desire. If you want to become more conscious of that... Take a pitch bell. Take a bell, like a pitch, right? And put it near your desk, put it near wherever you stay. So whenever it rings, or whenever you talk, it vibrates the bell. That should serve as a reminder as to your vi if you talk loud enough. Uh, if you send your word out, it's bouncing all over the room and going, it's leaving your window, it's leaving, uh, just going into the air, etc. It's going into the universe to come back to whatever you just asked for. It could be three months from now. It's crazy how it works, but uh, it's really cool how it works. You could say, I'm sick and tired, and you're just like, hey, I'm so, I'm so sad because I had a bad day. Okay. You shouldn't have said that or acknowledged the bad day in your highest interest because guess what? You probably didn't have a bad day. You just had one or two bad things happen. And guess what? You're having a bad week, and you're having a bad month because you focus so much on the bad day, and you let it go. So how does this relate to the angel numbers 333? Three, three, three? Well... It serves as a warning, a reminder, and kind of like, it's a reward for your the word you sent out, a reward for the work you're doing, a, war, a reward for your actions, and the reward could be a good reward or a bad reward. So when you see 333, ask yourself, hmm, I didn't manifest or say anything that's working against me. If you didn't, and you just got to really evaluate yourself with this number. So get into evaluation mode. If you're someone who's that into angel numbers, evaluate everything you're doing because the angel numbers you see are not always just good because what's what's an angel that's fallen down? A fallen angel. It's a demon. Ah, this is a demon number now. It's not. It's a fallen angel number. No, it's not. Sometimes it is for certain people. So if you're wondering why people who are like horrific people who are just doing nothing but bad are seeing angel numbers, it means they're getting corrected. And it's a good thing, actually, because it's pointing them to their highest good. So if that person sees 333, it's whatever they put out is coming back to them. Maybe they were gossiping at work, and guess what? They're being gossiped about now, and now they're going to get caught, now they're going to get fired because they were gossiping, etc. So why is, that a good, why is that a good thing for that person? Why did that person see 333 when they were gossiping? Because well, that made them a better person, and they're not, they're not gossiping now. So that's what 333 serves in that regard. Let's get to 444. And yeah, 333, it keeps going. Like, it just keeps going. So the strength of whatever... And please don't get too caught up on angel numbers. You make the angel numbers. Like, they're, they're, it's a frequency. Three holds the number of a frequency. It can be calculated spiritually, physically, etherically, emotionally, mentally, <laughs> um, trigonomically, <laughs> geo geometrically. It actually can, but uh, <laughs> when it comes to threes... Just know that with something's growing, like something's, and you have to really pay attention to like, hmm, what's growing? I'm like, okay, something good is growing because I'm conscious of my word. I didn't say anything bad today. I'm just doing nothing but good. Uh, my karma is good. You put out nothing but good. You're not insulting people. You're not making fun of people. You're not putting people down, etc. So you're doing good. Same thing with 444. Very interesting, dynamic, weird, awesome angel number. 444 usually means... Things are getting better. They can mean, and this one can mean a ton of different things. So you look up, what's this angel number mean online? It can mean a hundred different things. But from what I've seen in my experience, it means it's marking something. It's like, okay, this is the day that this means this. So if something happens the fourth of every month, this is a marker day. So that's just how it works for me. It could be for you guys. It could be different for you guys. Because like I said, these angel numbers should have their own signature for you guys because it's your own energy, your own reality, <clears throat> etc. It's your own astrology, etc. But when it comes to angel numbers, 444, 444, uh, have fun with these angel numbers, guys. Unless you're doing bad, then they're going to be fallen angel numbers, which are going to point you towards the light and doing good because they're going to correct you. But angel number 444 has to do with whatever manifestations you have put out in the world are actually now becoming more secure. They're being strengthened because you have to think about it like this. Uh, Look at look at the shape of a square. Where's my four? Where's my four four four? Here's the four four four. 
This is my 444. 444. Four sides, four points, etc. It's a square, but it's it's a piece of pyrite. So what does this represent? If I put this on a flat surface, it's stable. It's not falling over. It's stable. I could put I could stack this up here. I could stack this out here, etc. Four has to do with stability. So what you have. And pyrite in the shape of a cube, by the way, is very good for financial stability, very good for mental stability, etc. So pyrite's awesome. I have it on my website, floridastoneman.com. I have the best and realest pyrite. I don't have imitation crystals because people are like, oh, yeah, I got my, I got my malachite from uh, Amazon or it's Amazon. Uh, I got my malachite from eBay, and I'm like. Those are not even lines. They're literally circles, and malachite doesn't do that pattern naturally. But it. It looks like malachite. It's not malachite. Don't be forget. You can take a piece of clay and dye it green. It's not peridot. I'm sorry. Uh, and people are like, you're mean. I'm like, because I told you your crystal's not real. It's, I'm mean now. It's, it's a fact. Because <laughs> I've been seeing so many fake crystals go around. I'm like, ah. And people, it, fake crystals are becoming more popular and more accepted because they're affordable. But people don't get that they're not crystals. Like, Someone showed me their fake tourmaline, and they're like, why isn't this working? I'm like, because it's not tourmaline, but it's it said it was tourmaline. I'm like, you knew it was a tourmaline. You got it from, it's basically charcoal. It looks like charcoal. Okay, back, up, back to the topic, but uh, I'm going to make a whole entire video about that. But when it comes to the angel number, it's four, four, four. It means things are becoming stable. A bad situation is now getting better. An argument is now calming down. It means if you're feeling emotional, keep it inside so you can work on it and don't let it spill out because if you see the angel numbers 444 and you feel like you're in a bad mood and you feel like reacting it means keep it inside the house and don't let it out until it's fully healed and when you ha when you do let it out make sure it's in a stable way because you can make or break i mean you can break relationships and this is what people do all the time they'll they'll scream at like a cousin they're like ah! <laughs> or they'll scream at like a brother or a sister like ah! And they'll just be like, no, like, and then you're like, well, I shouldn't have said that. And like 10 years later, they'll be like, well, you said this uh, after you, after the family reunion. So like, and then they'll use it against you. So that number basically means evaluate your emotions because you're the problem at the time. Yeah, because we are, we are our own worst enemies. So it's reminding us like, hey, become more stable if you're not stable already. It's a reminder that you could just need stability sometimes. Like if you're driving and you see fur, four blur, blurs, bur, I almost said burbs because I've been watching Instagram bird reels or whatever, and they call it like burb. I'm like, oh god, I'm calling it burb now. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> but if you're seeing like, if, for example, this works differently for everyone. So I'm gonna give you my angel sign. When my angels send four birds flying over me, it means calm down in traffic because, uh, and yeah, I keep calm in traffic, but I'll just look around sometimes and I'm like. Why are these people driving responsibly for themselves? They're really gonna hurt someone. And I'll just be like, why? Why don't you care about your own life? And then I'll see four birds fire over my. Okay, they'll learn their lesson on their own. You can't save everyone, Stone Man. You can't save everyone. So that's what four 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 means. It's a whole bunch of different things, but you have to assign that especially to four four four. Now, when you see five five five, and I just switched to uh, three. I mean, I switched to four 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 to five 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 at three three three. Oh, 666-777-888 is coming in a future video. And I'm okay with just saying 333-444-555-668. And people are like, ah, these are angel numbers. Ah. Um, I'm going to give you some cool things to do with angel numbers right now before I, because I, I ask I'll put them at the end of the video. And I actually forget to put them at the end of the video. But if you really have not been seeing 333 and you'd like to embody that frequency, write it above your bed. Put it in your pillow. Write it as a, you can tattoo it. Just make sure it's not upside down because I'm, You'll have a fallen angel number, which I just talked about that, but uh, with 333 guys, you can put it on the wall, you can put it on the floor, you can put it in your water, you can put it in your food. When you play with your food, you can be like, <laughs> fork and knife, just like, my spaghetti's now at 333. Three, three. No, don't play with your food. Uh, you can bless your food with a 333 frequency, like, you could just whisper under your breath, 333, three, three, and like, throughout your day, it's an affirmation, because... That, that's that energy is a frequency it's literally bouncing off your walls you can write it on your forehead and you're gonna feel the energies of 333 yeah that's how it works because if you want your third eye to open up more you can write with like eyeliner on your forehead 333 and you'll start feeling a whole bunch of vib vibrating tingling and buzzing sensations because that's a whole frequency that you have just do it responsibly 
Well, when it comes to the five by five, this is the most volatile number in a good and bad way. So if you're on the right side, of, and this is a very karmic number, if you're on the right side of karma, this number is helping you. It's benefiting you. It's working out for you. It's really changing your situation. And guess what? It's on your side if you're doing good. If you're doing bad, then 555 is against you. It's literally a lesson teacher. So if you've been road raging in traffic, it means accident. If you've been uh, causing gossip, it means you're getting caught. If it means, or not accident, oh, it's because I'm like, ah, I'm a bad person. Well, if you're hurting other people in traffic, most likely anyway, or something's going to happen. So uh, just do good and be good because 555 can be very scary. Let's just say if you're in a relationship and you're the bad one, it means that you're, you're, you've been cheating. It means you're going to get caught. Uh, 555 and you're on a good, good side. And guess what? This video is at 555 right now. Yay for the people who love angel numbers. Ah, 555. Why are you talking about the bad part of that 555? Well, the good part is it means blockages are being removed. It means good things are coming. It means fast change. So not just like sometimes when you see 111, you'll see it for a whole month and you'll just be like, okay, where's the change? And then you'll, you'll see something else like a uh, Two, 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 and you're like, well, it's a change. It's usually subtle, and it's usually something you're doing. But five, five, five is very dramatic. It's very quick. Uh, if you see it, and this angel number, you might see a lot less than the other angel numbers. So an angel, two angel numbers, you'll see less is five, 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 and nine, nine, nine. This means basically nines have to do with goal accomplished, wish granted, etc. Fives is just yeah, it's, it's something is done now. Like something's done. Like something's just happened, and you're gonna find out. So it's something good or something bad. So just be on the right side, right side of the karma because 555 is crazy. So uh, when I see 555, how do I react? I'm like, okay, cool. Thank God. Something is being removed. Something is being added. Something is being changed. There's new people being added to my life. There's new people being removed from my life. There's uh, something something I've been waiting on is finally here. Maybe a crystal that I couldn't, is not readily available, is now available. Uh, etc. Maybe it could be anything. So assign your own meanings to these angel numbers. <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, ask them in the comment section. These angel numbers are pretty cool. And if you have any questions, like I said, ask them in the comment section. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Uh, tell me how you guys like this video, by the way. I might do more of these in the future if you guys really, really like this video. And now that I'm able to remember more often to bring up my website, go to floridastoneman.com if you want real crystals. Not imitation crystals. People will slip fake crystals in just because they, you know that uh, they might have real crystals or they might be cheaper than other websites, but mine are real, okay? I can guarantee that all mine are real. So you won't have to message me on Instagram. Stone man, I, I went to this website and I got this and I'm not sure if it's real and I've been you bring it for a year and it hasn't caused any changes. And I'm like, a whole year went by? But if you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.